what are the roles of the Jews who are worshipping Allah and who are not oppressors? A Jew who condemns oppression. A Jew who resists the oppressor. A Jew who struggles to liberate the oppressed and recognizes Israel as the greatest oppressor in the world. A Jew who is righteous in his conduct is my brother. And therefore, I have to reach out to him to form friendship and alliance with him in order to combat <coughs> the oppressors of the world. Is that so difficult to understand? What are the roles of other people and other religions? The Hindu, oh, I've already answered this. The Hindu and the Buddhist and so on. This question is about how do we deal with China? The same thing that happened in Chechenia with the Chechen Muslims. When Tsarist Russia, Russia of the Tsars, was waging brutal war on Muslims, it was not Russia. No. The Tsars were faithful to the West. And the greatest Tsars of all were given titles by the West. You could Peter the Great. Great because he served the West, the Tsar's West. She was known as Catherine the Great. <laughs> Why? Because she served the interests of the West. And these great Tsars destroyed the Orthodox Christian faith, attacked the Orthodox Christian faith in Russia. And these are the ones who waged bogus jihad on the Muslims. At that time, Britain was there to prevent, to, to offer weapons to the Chechens. Yeah, Britain was providing the Chechens with all the weapons they need to fight the Tsars. But Britain is on the side of the Tsar as well. <laughs> See? So in the same way, they're able to hoodwink you and get you to wage war with their weapons. That's what they did in the Chechen war. You see? They provided, the CIA provided all the money that they needed and all the state-of-the-art weapons that they needed to fight Russia and call out a bogus, a, a valid jihad. It was not a valid jihad. You don't fight a jihad with weapon, weapons from Saudi Arabia and money from Saudi Arabia, no. The same thing is now happening in China. In order to give China a bad name, and get the world of Islam to turn away from China. They feed the weapon, the state of the art weapons and the money to the Chinese Muslims who will now rise up against Russia and China. Hmm? But forget that. That's a red herring. It doesn't deserve any time at all from us. What is important for us is that China is resisting those who want to rule the world. Is that so difficult to understand? That China is resisting those who want to rule the world. China is therefore resisting the Dajjal, who wants to rule the world. They want China to bend down her knees, go down on your knee and bend down and submit to us. If they knew that this China was going to behave like this, China would never have become a permanent member of the Security Council. The reason why they allowed China to become a permanent member of the Security Council because it was Chiang Kai-shek. It wasn't Communist China at that time, you see? And Chiang Kai-shek was, was Christian, a Chinese Christian. But now this China is resisting them. And it is the, the Chinese who are leading the effort, not Russia. Russia is supporting China on the petrodollar monetary system, which is leading to the Great War. Hmm? So we have to respect China, that China is leading the resistance to those who are the greatest oppressors in the world today. Good? What is Saudi Arabia doing? 
Is Saudi Arabia resisting? No, Saudi Arabia is waging a jihad in, against the innocent Yemenis. Huh? And all these, uh, all these monkeys who have no capacity to think at all, supporting Saudi. They have no way to think, no, supporting the Saudis. China is therefore going to stand with Russia. This is the most momentous development in international affairs in recent time, the alliance of China and Russia. And the second alliance which is to come, and for which we are working, I am working, is the alliance between Islam and Rome, which is still to come.